Good morning from my kitchen. I thought today that I might just share a few tips, um, dispel a couple of myths, things that you've probably heard me say before. Uh, so apologies if I'm repeating myself. Um, everything I do is driven by simplicity. Uh, making sourdough can be a, a simple, smooth process. There's a lot of myths, a lot of supposed rules and things that you have to do um, that you really don't and you will still create the most beautiful bread, the most beautiful loaves. So just a couple of tips for you um, with your starter. If you have a happy established starter, you do not need to be feeding and discarding it every day. That's only part of the process when you're making a starter. Once your starter is established, you can keep it in the fridge, take it out to use it when you want to. It can live happily in the fridge for several weeks. So don't worry too much about it. It's a lot more forgiving than you think. And just be brave, it will be fine. Uh, when you're making your dough, just you can throw everything in the bowl at once. You don't need to add the salt later. You don't need to just do flour and water initially. You can throw everything in the bowl at once, mix it up and deal with it later, which is exactly what I do. When you're doing the pulls and folds of your dough, they don't have to be at fixed periods of times apart. You don't need to set a timer. You can just do it when you pass in the bowl. And when you're leaving your dough to prove overnight, if you prove overnight on the counter, you can do that anything up to, I've done it, up to 20 degrees centigrade in my kitchen overnight and it will be fine. If you start to get temperatures higher than that, then you need to do things slightly differently and utilize your fridge, of which I've got information about on my website. So just some tips to go into the weekend if you're planning to bake, just to say, you can keep it simple. It can be a simple and straightforward process to make happy, healthy, lovely, tasty bread for you and your family. And here's the proof. This beautiful loaf I have made using my master recipe. I've done everything like I just said. I took my starter from the fridge in the morning, fed it, used it when it was ready, put everything in the bowl together, did the handling as and when I passed the bowl, gave it one last set of pools and folds last night, left it until this morning, baked it when I was ready. So simplicity is the key for me and it works. I promise you it works. Good flour, a good strong starter, good water, the right amount of water, and it can all produce lovely, happy bread. So this is backed up by everything on my website. So if you'd like to read my master recipe, see what I do, it's all on there. There's a page all about flour, including a list of flowers from around the world that people have sent me that um, is working well for them. There's lots of tips and tricks. So if you'd like to have a read, please do. If you have any questions for me, feel free to get in touch. And in the meantime, mm. here's my happy loaf.